So today we're going to be installing Bexley. Bexley kind of reminds me of Kiari, I guess, because of the vibe and all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. This is what she looked like. I got her in the color one. I would prefer one B, but that's neither here nor there. She's taped up. I have a box cutter now. Don't play with me on these streets. Hey, I'm just playing, y'all. Come on, come on through, Bexley. Come on out of there. Look, y'all, it got baby hairs. Um, so, this is what it looks like. It is giving a little shine. It is a lot of hair. So, I don't know if she's going to tangle up on me. This is the ends of the hair. This is the inside of the weave. So, we're going to tint the lace, of course, because you cannot bleach this. If you guys are new here, you cannot bleach synthetic wigs. Don't try it. These are actually the wig caps that I use. They just black mesh caps. So I'm just gonna pull my my hair up in this thing. Like this, this is really all I do. So I got eight braids. They all busted. Y'all don't come for me. Don't don't do that. <laughs> We're gonna put her on. I don't know because does it got elastic band in here? Yeah, it has elastic band. That's why it doesn't feel like it's big head friendly so if you cut the elastic band out it's gonna be big head friendly but this is what she's giving thus far this is how long she is definitely giving us shiny she's cute okay she's cute i love the density on her this is what the lace is giving her i mean giving us um she's not really plucked to the gods but she'll do but it does come with baby hairs as you guys can see the baby hairs is baby hairy in I'm going to push these up and out of the way though. Yeah, I think I'm going to go and pluck it because it's straight hair and that's just what I want to do. This is just me just parting it. As you guys can see, we should do a little bit of styling today, should we? Instead of just like regular metal part, I should put some, you know, try to style it at least. But you do have more part in the middle to part versus the, the side. Um, so yeah, I'm going in with the Red by Kisses medium dark brown spray and we're just going to spray this bad boy up. So I'm going go in with my great value. I say great value. <laughs> Equate Beauty um, makeup wipes and just wipe on the top of the hair. Like I said, I didn't, it didn't seep too much on the outside of it. So I'm just gonna run my brush through here. I actually prefer this other brush I got. When I use synthetic hair, I just feel like it just glides through the strand and it doesn't snatch them and snag them. I feel like brushes like these It'd be snagging a lot but unfortunately i don't know where i put that brush 
Okay, so this is the dry shampoo. Hopefully I'm saying it right. Batiste um, dry shampoo. This is for dark hair. Blends seamlessly with dark hair. And it says no white residue. So y'all see the shine? Y'all see it? Doling down the shine or leaving something on it like a film? It says shake. Look at me not paying attention and following direction. It says shake it first. I'm just up here spraying. Oh my god. I don't see no white residue. Is it still looking shiny to y'all? Let me like do on the inside. It smell good though. I can go get it. It smell good. Okay, this is this side. This is the side with no shampoo. See if you guys can see it. And this is the side with the shampoo. But I'm just gonna lightly go through it. And I always lift up this lace off of my head because I be burning myself. And then I just take the bag and swing it on through. So like I said, I didn't do too much plucking. Y'all can see that. I try to keep it like very beginner friendly. I didn't go OD. Because I feel like sometimes when you go OD on the plucking, it start looking fake. That's that. That's that on that. I'm going to push this back here because... He's in my way. So now I'm just gonna take these scissors and cut. Now I'm just gonna find the part in or make a part and cut it off so like this so it can fit perfectly around my ear. I think I'm gonna go down another inch or a quarter of an inch. I'm part like this. And it should fit directly behind your ear, okay? If it don't, just trim some more of that lace off and it should fit perfectly. I don't like when my ear bends though, but it's the way the wig is made. Kiss! This lace bond adhesive spray, kids did that. I don't care what your mama say, I don't care what your uncle say. Kiss! Then overdid Evan. I'm sorry. I used to be an Evan lover. But when I met this, I ain't never put it down since. I like to pull down my wig in the middle since I have more room there. We're going to utilize that. On my edges, I have no other choice but to lay them where my edges actually are because right, right here. Just right there. You know, not too much. Not going crazy. Like that. And I'm going to use my finger to spray it and, you know, move it in the center. Now you can add layers upon layers. It depends on what you like and the, um, what is it? The level of security you're going for. All right, so once my hand is kind of getting stuck like this, you see it? Like this, it's time to lay that down, okay? It's tacky enough. So make sure it's, still centered because I've lost my part but I'm gonna pull this down like that and just lay it yeah this is about where I want it and just lay it down and I try to lay it without like stretching the lace because I notice sometimes when I stretch the lace uh I'll be getting ripples in the front of my forehead so I just try to allow it to lay naturally without actually stretching the lace you go back in with your heat So now we're gonna do the size and we're gonna do that literally the same way. I always add a lot, a lot of product on the side because dumb ear tags be lifting up. Okay, so this is what I like to do. And then we're gonna add a little bit more right there. We gonna um, grab this piece and we just gonna align the lace with where we laid our glue at. I actually pulled spray too much. All right, I'm gonna pull it up and then we just gonna allow it to lay like that. Just lay it. Don't stretch it, lay it. That is my new technique and I feel like my laces have been turning out fire. Since I haven't been like stretching the actual lace, just allowing it to fall in place. 
And I'm just using the back of my comb, and we're just gonna push it in there like that. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna cut that off and stuff. Add a little bit more spray <laughs> on top. All right, so everything is laid. Now it's time to add some more um, lace dance spray. I'm gonna take one of my powder puffs, spray some of my tinting spray on this puff, and then pat it in my hairline so it can blend. Let me just go gently pat it into the hair. No. Like this. Um, I was watching the hair goat the other day. If y'all don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about Laura Asia. And I seen her with these new elastic bands. So, of course, I went over there and I wanted to try it out for myself. So, I went ahead and purchased the same ones that she was using in her latest video. I think it was called her the Summer Melt or something like that. Anyway, I let my hair sit for a couple of minutes using that. I don't let my units sit for long at all because to me, it's not necessary. But to each its own so i'm gonna do it like this because it's a stretch elastic band so i'm gonna try to stretch it up here and see what that do because it's tight yeah so you can put the velcro piece anywhere on that extra wrap and it's actually tight okay it's probably tight it wiped off my brow bro all right y'all so let's take this off because it's been three minutes four minutes i was on that tick tock tick this thing make me sweat, bro. Didn't start lifting my leg. My reward is food after I get done filming. That is my reward for me. Cause I feel like if I eat, if I eat before I film, I'm gonna be lazy. And I'm not gonna film at all because I'm gonna get the itis and go sleep somewhere. Okay, what she's giving us, okay? What's she giving us? No, I did not part it in the bag. Cause I can't see. I can't see back there no way, so don't don't even worry about that part back there. Y'all remember this in school? Honey, don't play. Don't play with it. <laughs> I don't care what nobody say. These great value rubber bands be hit, hitting. They so stretchy and they so hard to break. Um, these are what they are. If I can find them, I'll link them below. You need you a box. I should have parted back here, but who's going to see it? Who's going to be back there trying to see if my part go all the way back around there? If you like on some real ish, why are you that close to my head like that? All right, so we got that on. I think I'm gonna take a piece of hair and wrap it around that rubber band because that is giving tacky. Where did this fly come from? Yeah, oh. Okay, so this is how we did it. I should put some uh, spray up there. So today I'm gonna actually use my exact shade. This is in the, the cream foundation, Ruby Kisses. This is in the shade. I mean, this is in the level 12, but I'm gonna use just use this darker one. Yeah, that. See, I was on it. The darker shade just hit it. It's not perfect. I'm just gonna go ahead and do some baby hair.
all right guys so this is how the hair turns out like i said this is my first time ever like styling synthetic hair so yeah I, i'm actually shocked that it doesn't look that bad i'm a perfectionist and i feel like i messed up the look with these dang old baby ears but that's neither here or there we're not even going let me know what you think i feel like overall this is a bond.com unit um like i said i haven't been getting too much tangles for it to be this limp so that's a shocker to me because it ain't it ain't doing what i thought it was going to do even for me who have styled it now um the only time i got shedding was when i actually went in and um plucked the unit but otherwise than that it hasn't been doing that bad so yeah overall y'all i give this unit a nine out of ten okay it's just everything the only thing i don't like is how the flips keep flaring off in its own direction and it's just doing what it want to do you gonna do what i tell you to do so <laughs> that's the only thing like i wish you know they were more so cohesive but other than that y'all i ain't got no complaints it is what it is now when it comes down to the back of course you want to leave some hair out in the back don't pull it all to the front because then your little neck gonna be just hanging out it's gonna look weird back there you're gonna look like a a hot dog with hair you know so that's the only thing i would say to do for with this specific style other than that it is what it is so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up let me know your thoughts let me know if you're gonna cut this unit for yourself you know and yeah yeah until my next video your girl will see you later bye guys